Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef here, John Morris again, man, presenting to you how to make your very own homemade Monte Cristo. Yeah, man, I hate We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing no, we waste, nothing no, our dash way. Monte Cristo is a French inspired dish, you feel me I say? And it's a fried sandwich so to speak. For breakfast, lunch or brunch, now that's a bunch. You can have this sandwich for any three of those times. You can even have it for dinner, you know what I say? The Monte Cristo man. Simple, quick and easy. Well, let me show you how I get that done real quick. So we don't further delay. Forward, let me show you how I go on. First up, we're going to go in with one egg. And we're just gonna whisk this out nicely. We're gonna need three slices of bread, whichever bread of your choice. I'm just gonna go in with my rolling pin just to roll them out a bit. You know what I'm say? We're gonna add some mayonnaise. So you're going with whatever amount you desire. Spread that out. You can stay within the middle of the bread. You don't have to worry about getting the ends. Then I'm gonna go in with some mozzarella cheese. If you have grated mozzarella cheese, go ahead and use that. But I'm using a block cheese here and I'm just getting it grated myself. Now it's time for us to assemble So cheese So I'm going with about half cup of cheese You can use any amount This is not a precise recipe To use any amount that you so desire So for this sandwich you can go in with either ham or turkey I'm a turkey person so I'm going in with my turkey One slice there Let's fold that Then lastly Gonna top that off with some more cheese in the middle. Gonna go right on top with that. Just like that. And then, gonna flip this over. Just like that. Be careful so you don't spill everything. I'm using here a, 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 a cutting board, but you can use whatever you have that's flat. Just gonna press onto that. Just so to keep everything firmly in place. So you have a nice, firm sandwich right get for yourself a bread knife if you have one or a chef's knife whichever knife you have it will work I'm just gonna shave the ends off you know what I say because you're gonna take that brown off now a lot of people might be saying chef you're wasting the bread you can always use this extra bread for a bread pudding so before you put all that mayonnaise on there, you just make it into a bread pudding. So the bigger the bread, the better the sandwich. But this is nice and firm. So if you stack your sandwich before you cut the crust off, you can always eat the ends, right? But I like to cut the crust off after I stack the sandwich because you get a neater sandwich. Whereas if I cut the crust off, put the stuff in, I don't want anything oozing out at the sides. So in the meantime, you wanna put on a tablespoon of butter to melt. So I have here a non-stick frying pan and that has been heated up. And we're using butter here because that gives us that nice golden brown on our sandwich that we're gonna be looking for. So on medium heat, we allow that to melt. Over here now we have our egg wash. We're just gonna go in with our sandwich. We're gonna ensure we coat that on all six sides drench that bread don't soak it and then you drain the excess off and over to our fryer then we're gonna go right in now with our sandwich a minute there about on each side you know what I said
then we're going to remove that and allow it to drain on a piece of paper towel to absorb the excess oil man and there you have it how to prepare Monte Cristo here on Morris Time Cooking Ed. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And do remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like these. Until next time, see if you have a gravel and go and big up on yourself. You'll be seeing another dinner for later. But know your fast girl, you'll have to tell me. Because I know any, any man can feed you. So that's why I always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.